was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could have. Hey guys, welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we're talking about Jacobino's. It's kind of a mouthful. Uh, Jacobino's Pizza is a company, it's actually an offshoot of Connie's Pizza, which you may have heard of if you um, like frozen pizza. I have never had Connie's Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they're based here in Chicago. They actually have two brick and mortar locations and they are fro their frozen pizzas are probably nationwide, I assume. So uh, at the very least they're like Midwest or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so, um, so this is the flatbread that we're reviewing. It's not the actual, it's not an actual pizza, but it's close enough. So what's the relation with Jacobino's to, so, to Connie's Pizza? So Jacobino's is, it's just a, it's just an offshoot of, of Connie's Pizza. So it's like I, the guy that started the original recipe for Connie's then started a, like has always been making the pizzas that way. And then Jacobino's is like a new company, but it's based on the original recipe that Connie still makes today. But this is like a, it's kind of like a different version of it. I think, yeah. I, so I think Jacobino's is mostly pan pizza, okay. deep dish. Yeah, which I saw at the store. So I, I just like happened to, I, um, I stress purchased a frozen pizza. <laughs> that is why we're doing this. It's not that anyone has ever done that before. <laughs> why would you um, stress for But I didn't want to get a pan pizza because I'm not a big fan of pan pizza, um, but this looked really delicious um, because it is um, jardinera, which is like jardinera and beef, which is also super Chicago. Um, it's that plus, um, plus cheese. Um, and then it's a flatbread, which I um, was just talking to somebody about tavern style pizza mm -hmm. and just like how I'm like, I really like tavern style pizza. I like a crispy, I like the crispy, but just like a tiny bit of chew. So let's talk about the packaging real quick. Uh, so when I saw this, uh, this pizza packaging, it made, immediately made me think of and pizza. And? And. Their, their logo is an actual ampersand. I don't okay. know where they're based off of, but their pizzas are, they are uh, not ovals, but they're like long, long ovals. Okay. I don't know what that shape is called. <laughs> I think it's just a long oval. I don't know. But anyway. A, that, that, a, uh, an ellipse. Uh, maybe, I don't know. If you know what that shape is uh, called, comment below. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about the packaging. I really like the packaging. It's really minimal. I love the, it's very local, it's Chicago. <laughs> I'm still thinking about referring to uh, an oval as a long circle, or like, it's <laughs> just like, okay. <laughs> These are all hand handmade, allegedly. I don't know if that's uh, true. It looks pretty handmade. Yeah, so, I don't know, the colors are good. I, th I think everything about the packaging is really, it was really nice. It's very appealing, so I like that it's just a sleeve for this flatbread, so you can just, now is that so? Is that how Ampersand's thing is too, where it's just a sleeve that goes over? I don't know what they're. I don't know where they're. No, they're like a brick and mortar. Oh, store. Okay, they're, okay. They're an actual like pizza place. I see. Um, so the Jacobino's frozen pizzas come in square boxes, and they have like the lower part of the box is like a see-through, so it's cut out, but it's like a half circle. So it's, it's also You're going to pop nice. that in like right here, right? So people yeah. can see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, but again, I'm not a big pan pizza fan. I thought this would be a lot more fun for me. Um, <laughs> because it's, again, I just bought it for myself. Uh, but anyway, uh, so let's get this into the oven. I think it needs to cook for about 20 minutes. And then we'll be back with our official review. All right, pizza is out of the oven, uh, but before we get into the actual tasting, I wanna give a quick shout out to Pizza Sutra. Uh, they actually reviewed Connie's frozen pizza recently, so shout out to you. <laughs> they're, they're already on top of that. I know. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, it smells good, ish. I'm, okay, so I'm not a fan of Jernier. Jardiner is good. I, I like it a lot. I can't do spicy stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm a pale boy, and I get a. Uh, I get. I'm not. I'm not good at spicy stuff. So. Um, oh, that's a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. A, it's. It's a plank. 
It's pizza plant. So let's just get into it. Get a little strip. Mm, thanks, Dad. Look at that. Alright, okay. This looks like this is gonna be very hot, actually. Oh. So it's got jardinier and um, pieces of Italian beef, which is a very Chicago thing. So let's just try it. So what I like about jardinier is when you bite into one of those peppers and you get this like burst of vinegar. That's always so. That's always so tasty to me. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because it's a little hot, um, but it does just kind of have a, um, the pizza sauce flavor is like the most generic, like heavy on oregano and garlic, like, like kind of pan. It's very like, it, you know what I'm saying? Like it feels very much like a pizza sauce out of a can, which is kind of, <clears throat> it's, I'm sure it's not, but it definitely has like this canned or like a, like oh, we actually just had pizza flavored combos <laughs> earlier today, and they don't taste the same, but they have you know how like pizza combos and other pizza flavored stuff just like mm -hmm. has pizza pizza flavor. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's not a bad flatbread. <laughs> no, no, um, it's it's decent. Uh, it doesn't really. I don't know. I mean, there there are strips on this pizza, like for example this, uh, where it's like just a strip of jardinera. Yeah. And um, I'm sure that's got that pumped it, that, that packs a lot of uh, flavor. But yeah, I don't know. For flatbread, it's, it's good. I don't know, it's decent. Um, hmm. I'm going to give it a thumbs up overall. What about you? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say I'd give it a thumbs up. It's a good pizza. The crust is good. Um, it's definitely got some chew to it. It's not as crispy as I. It is definitely a flatbread because it's not as. It's not a. Um, yeah, it's not as crispy as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely a thicker, even just, just in terms of, terms of how dense the crust is, it's a lot more, it's a lot chewier than I thought it was going right. to be. We also cooked it on the on the rack, so I don't know if cooking it like on a pizza stone or a, a baking steel would make, would crisp up the bottom a little, a little more, but yeah. So, um, yeah, if you see uh, Jacobino's in your uh, frozen food section. Did you talk about the most important part that the, the proceeds for go to the, the oh, charity? Right. right. So so here here in Chicago, uh, at least with Jewel Osco, it's our it's our local grocery chain. Mm -hmm. They donate fifty five cents for each of these um, Jacobinos sold, and they go towards a organization called Social Works, mm -hmm. which is uh, started by Chancellor Rapper because uh, he's a Chicagoan, right? And the organization is like a like a youth empowerment kind of organization, so it's it's, it's good good stuff for kids. Yeah, and um, and so yeah, so uh, it's easy to get a frozen pizza, and you're like donating and helping uh, some local Chicago kids. Um, so yeah, again, it feels this feels very Chicago specific. It's very Chicago. I mean, we're just talking about all kinds of shit. Right. Chance the rapper, we got Jardinera, we got we got all Italian that. beef, all of it. the whole bit. All of it. So yeah, but. Um, yeah, so that's our review. Um, if there's something that you want me to review, whether it's a food, a product, an ingredient that's pizza related. A gadget. A gadget. I love gadgets. Yeah, so comment below if you have a suggestion on something you want me to review, and I will review it. I'll review it for you. So uh, thank you as always for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Just hit that button down below. Hit the notification bell. You know the drill. And until next time, Ciao for now. Smell you later. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever.